Hi, this is Paul at School Bus Talk. On this episode of School Bus Talk, we're going to do an incident report of a school bus crash in Great Bend, Kansas. Uh, the crash happened on Tuesday, April 23rd, 2024. The crash site is about 11 road miles north of Great Bend, Kansas, at the intersection of Northwest 30 Avenue and Northwest 50 Road. The neighborhood is agricultural fields. Let's look at the Google street level images. Uh, here is Northwest 30 Avenue looking south, and this is Northwest 50 Road looking east. You can see that the terrain is open prairie with no visual obstructions like trees or topography. Reports say that the crash happened at about 10 a.m between a activity bus from the Russell School District and a pickup that was hauling hay. Uh, the bus you can see is not your typical yellow school bus, it's a coach tour bus, and it was transporting the Russell baseball team to a game in Liberal, Kansas, which is about 200 road miles one way. Sources for this video are listed in the description. Reports on the crash say that high winds cause blowing dust and near zero visibility. The crash scene photos show that blowing dust was severe. Further reports say that the crash was at low speeds and the report photos of the crash uh, back this up and it looks like both vehicles were creeping at the time of the collision. The damage to the pickup truck uh, appears to be minor. The damage to the bus looks to be minor. However, it appears that the doorway was damaged and taken out of service. The bus windshield has also been damaged and removed. I'm speculating that the bus windshield may have been removed in order to evacuate the passengers. You can also see that one of the bus's right windows has been open, so it's possible that uh, the passengers were evacuated out of this side window. Uh, reports are that three children on the bus had minor injuries. My heart goes out to all the victims of this bus crash. I think that's fortunate the crash was not worse. It appears that the bus driver was being cautious during low visibility conditions. The takeaway from this crash is that adverse driving conditions impacting visibility can be a major road hazard. The four big visibility hazards are fog, mist, smoke, and dust. And in my experience, of these four, dust is the worst. I drive a route that goes through an agricultural area of almond and walnut orchards, especially at harvest time, which is in September, October. Dust visibility can be a terrible hazard. The nut trees are harvested by shaking machines that then push the nuts up into rows and then the harvested nuts are collected and then uh, lifted by conveyor belts into large open top semi truck trailers. Uh, the operation causes a lot of dust and under wind conditions, adverse driving visibility uh, can be severe. In my experience, fog is not like dust. Fog visibility conditions can be ubiquitous, whereas dust visibility hazard happens very rapidly and without warning. Now, I drive a school bus here in the state of California. In California, the California Vehicle Code states that when visibility is reduced to less than 200 feet, it is at the driver's discretion and authority whether to discontinue operations or not. Uh, this is under Vehicle Code 34501.6. The general rules for visibility reductions and dust storms are, one, pull the bus off the pavement, two, turn off your headlights, three, 
Set the parking brake and take your foot off the service brake. And four, never stop in the traveled way. Based on the reports of this bus crash in Great Bend, Kansas, it's my opinion that the school bus driver did everything right. He or she reduced their speed to creeping slow and tried to safely drive the bus through the near zero visibility conditions. That wraps up this episode of School Bus Talk. Remember, safety is essential.